Hello friends. So I've created another copper plated egg impeller. I've also redesigned the egg to have five blades and made the egg surface a little smoother than its predecessor. The new 3D resin print surface is also a lot smoother due to the 0.05 millimeter layer height as opposed to the almost half a millimeter layer height of its PLA filament predecessor seen in the video I made about 10 months ago called copper plated 3D printed egg propeller slash impeller. At first the copper plated egg looked like a really old dirty penny, but after polishing it properly with a metal brush on a small Dremel drill, it really lit up. The new egg is highly electrically conductive as can be seen here. During operation in water, a negative electrical charge develops at one end of the egg, while a positive charge develops at the other end. Here is something interesting that Dan Winter created, based on a book called Vortex of Life by Lawrence Edwards. A kind of phase conjugation of waveforms is possible at the implosion point at the smaller end of the egg impeller. Among other phenomenon created by the egg, the spinning motion creates an etheric vortex. Stopping the egg after some time and reversing its direction will create a second etheric vortex counter-rotating to the first. In other words, twin etheric vortexes counter-rotating along the same axis can coexist in the same space and time without interfering with each other. This strengthening of both vortexes is knowledge that was known about when Victor Schauberger saw firsthand his farmer friends stirring water in large drums in one direction and then reversing the direction of their stir to get the water moving in the opposite direction. They did this over and over again for about an hour to fully charge the water with a kind of life force energy that enhanced plant growth. The same thing can be achieved by various biodynamic flow forms as well as Dan Winter's imploder technologies. Here's my copper plating setup. I used the containment box I made for the resin printer to double as a fume hood for my electroplating operation. Further details of the copper electroplating process can be found in my previous copper egg video if interested. And on a final note, which is almost completely unrelated to the previous part of this video, we have here a resin printed naked female character. I bought the STL file off of CG Trader. It is not my own design, but someone else's attempt to make a ball joint doll. I was just curious to see how it would look. I might invest in an airbrush setup in the future to create a more realistic paint job than I've been able to accomplish so far with conventional acrylic paints. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.